Hey, what's up? Orfish here, and it's time for another episode of this playthrough. I'm gonna keep this one shorter, I think. Um, but let's see, I promised you that I will introduce you to uh, any changes to the base that I make off screen. So, I've replanted all this uh, flora inside of this alien containment, and now it has to. Um, two of these creep vines towering in the middle and the rest of it I redistributed evenly and I tried it to keep it symmetrical as possible but mm, those plants are n not much alike each other so it's not very possible to achieve that then I've added some bulkheads to offload some of the uh, integrity requirements for these two reinforcements that were uh, standing on these walls so that I can plant I mean so that I can build these um, wall decorators I've added two more of these vase plants here and there is nothing new here other than that uh, I try to place some labels but label placing in the below zero is quite bugged at some places so you can freely I could freely place it here but it was impossible to do it here there's that annoying glitch again um, here I could have placed it but it would um, be behind this uh, wall planter so I left it out have two more here And inside a moon pool, of course, I've added an another bulkhead here, so I have... Seek calorie intake. Oh, sorry. Mm. Let's eat this entire tree. Mm. Okay, so two more of the labels here. I've uh, Seek fluid intake. filled up this outdoor grow bed mm, I've also well there's nothing new here yeah if you have the glass dome on top of the multi-purpose room then it is impossible to create labels here or here however in the room like the one but uh, down below it is possible so here in this room I had to place the labels on the wall because it is impossible to do it here yeah completely I can start building one here but it will just fall through the glass and I will have to remove the glass dome to complete the building and it will be obscured I've moved stuff a bit around this room. I removed one glass window from this wall and I placed one framed art and the sink here. So it looks quite nice, I think. And in the room below, yeah, if the room has normal roof, you can still place these uh, labels on this, let's say, this dark gray area near the ceiling and that's about it so in this episode there's not much left to do I mean I've explored everything I've done nearly oh yeah I've also placed uh, some power cell charges let me exit the base I've also placed some power cell uh, power, power cell sorry solar charges charges I mean solar panels on this moon pool to offload some of the lighting requirements uh, to the power because uh, when you have as many of these lighting uh, devices that I've created so I have one two three four five floodlights by the way uh, in the survival mode uh, apparently there is no spotlight but as I heard it is present in the creative mode 
which is quite strange. Also the radio I haven't found, but it should be possible to create it, not sure. Uh, so if you have something like nuclear or bioreactor and you place this many floodlights, it will drain it. Those will drain it quite fast, so you need some kind of perpetual power to offload some of that. Uh, power spending so the six solar panels Seek fluid intake immediately. are quite expensive and uh, will do the trick uh, during the day and during the night I think the power that was accumulated during the day will be spent without the nuclear reactor actually draining more power yeah being drained of more power so i'm now going to drink something and eat something i think marble melons will do the trick vital signs stabilizing okay is there any food that replenishes health there is no health fabricator no it's just body heat what replenishes health in this game nothing I guess let's bring some I mean I will bring a few salads let's bring some water oh, since I'm bringing the salads I want to bring nutrient bars and I'm gonna recombine the Virgil so that it goes as fast as possible I'm gonna dance with the Shadow Leviathan inside of the Crystal Cave to find one of those two caches in which the Ellen's body parts are located mm. And I leave two of the batteries to charge. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, oh yeah, I need to recombine. The stuff, I guess I won't be needing an aquarium, but I will take. I don't need the brown suit with me. I miss, I guess I will take, and I won't take the cargo module. Because the brown suit also has lots of internal cargo. And I think that will go fast enough. Now I will enter the cave from the Margaret's place. Now let's see this. After burn. Okay, it does provide some boost. Not as fast as I hoped it would be, but any boost is welcome. However, I guess it drains the power quite fast, so I'll use it sparingly at least until I create the ion power cells. And I could have done that. I have enough of 
of the iron cubes back home. Since I haven't scanned the snowman, uh, I can't create one myself, I think, so if you know if there is any other snowman to be scanned, please let me know. It will be a nice addition. which I will create further later in my base building series leaving this place until I find that cache. I'm not even sure if the crystal cave that I can access from here is connected to the one that I can access from the purple vents. Is it the same cave? Or perhaps not? But here is the first place at which I met the Shadow of Atlas, so it might be close. this area a bit. Probably kill me. Not sure. Yeah. Yeah, the fabricator module is still here. Now let's see if I can safely. this this thing aggros immediately It's quite hard to avoid it, they have some different, strange pattern, so they 
assume a distance they just don't follow you in circles like the reaper leviathans do and they assume some distance and then they use their speed advantage to get back to you Is this where I came from? It is the Margaret's home. Oh no, it's the vents. Those places are so close, and now I've lost my way to the Margaret's cave access. So it is the same cave after all. Now, if the thing catches me again, I will be completely dead. animation though what have I lost those few resources oh no I lost the beacon two where was it though Not this time. So it was probably here somewhere. anything related to the equipment I guess you can't lose that and now you're offering me I won't take any more kyanite the magnetite though I could but I'm also stocked with it. Come on, give me one copper. So you don't want to play nice. This game is evil. Get me some copper. There it is. Now both access accesses or however it's pronounced. 
to the Crystal Cavern are quite close to each other. Much like those two in the Lost River. The one from the... From the Degassi base and the one from the... Um, Kelp Trench. Crystal Cavern Margaret. Time for a snack. Now let's see if I can spot some obelisks. So I should should probably stay in this upper area. And not go too deep. Because... if they will they would attack the detached prawn suit if it's not piloted oh this is a drop beacon so how did I again you again so far I bet they are somewhere in this they are somewhere in these trenches place can get quite disorienting too. Two spare power cells. Again. I hope it doesn't die of all these electrical shocks. Because both Ghost Leviathan and Reaper Leviathan actually take damage from these and they, they move to other area. Is this the same guy? It has happened a few times that I've constructed a full-blown base 
I mean the observatory for either of, of those creatures and then they attacked my sea moth and I had to fry them and they just moved away, moved away. some obelisks. Okay, let's explore this level. It obviously isn't the top one. But there is more down there. fragments oh, I've come back to the top level I think in it. Maybe there is a cache hidden exactly in one of these mining trenches. For example, this one is too large. Is there anything I especially need? only required for the vehicle upgrades. It's a rock crusher egg, rock puncher, yeah, punch. Okay, so he punches the rocks. I was really hoping to find the cash cash here, but but it's a failed attempt.
the major crystal formation. I have never ventured in the middle of it. Maybe. That is exactly what I should have done. And this corridor looks quite... There is definitely yes. something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yes. Um, okay, there's my air. Nice music. Nice effects. Oh my god, these crystals look way more beautiful when out of water. Architect component. Heart. Uh, organ. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Well, it's Our designs it. provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. How is this in any way redundant? I mean, yeah, it has two lungs, two whatever these are. Two kidneys. Not sure. Now, please tell me there are more ion cubes here. You can't just leave me without the ion cubes. Now, what materials does this thing require? See why I needed to spare some ion cubes. I have everything. I have it. Enough to create the entire organ donor bank for this guy. So, since there is nothing else here, I'm gonna go back. And the next goal, let's see if there's something else down here. No. It's just empty and more empty and more empty. Though one base would be nice here. I think. Here. Maybe they contain something of any value. Not you. What's a crash fish doing this deep? I think to finish you off once you barely escaped the Shadow Leviathan. Like an ambush. Where you least expect it to be. Maybe lead? Yeah. I always need that. Though, while I was building modifications to my base in between the last and this episode, the sea monkeys brought me quite a lot of. Uh, lead. But the diamonds, I'm actually needing. There is another crash. <laughs> Oh, 
more diamonds. Can it come down here? I'm curious. This is like a Superman's cave. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require can buy biological <laughs> Tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Okay. That's some... Elaborate stuff right there. Kinda makes sense yet, not sure. Not a biologist. propulsion cannon. I mean, obviously it can be used for removing obstacles. And against some creatures, but other than that, it seems like a, quite a waste of arm slot. the same leviathan it's his friend who didn't get the memo that I'm dangerous and shouldn't be a efficient and the next stop is of course the arctic spires let's see if margaret has anything else to say you can consider this this is stopping by for a coffee 
or something. Hello. Ooh, I mean, why, why are you reading? Peace and war. I mean, war and peace. And this thing is probably chewing on its tenth tablet in this game. Would have eaten it by now. Nothing. She doesn't even pay attention to me. Perhaps there is some more interaction scripted once I reconstruct the Allen. But I doubt it. Now, how was I supposed to know that there was an alien part right there where I found it? I mean... There's no way. Nothing pointed me in that direction. Nothing told me that even there is a fabricator further down the cavern. Which now reminds me I'll have to come back over there one more time. What? Have I hit something? Seek fluid intake immediately. Where's the core? Right there. Let's see how long this lasts. Two thirds of a cooldown. It's only one third there is a downtime. can only be crafted at the alien fabricator yeah so I'll just get these two batteries see fluid and take drink some more Prepare for the second departure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, let's unload everything. Not everything though. I bring I'll bring some copper with me. Perhaps some glass, maybe some lithium. even some magnetite some silver to the mainland let's see if there's anything to be brought anything else I already have two salads but I'll bring more I'm not sure what to expect in the arctic spires Is it charged? No. Hmm. Cargo area. Oh no, this is the fabricator room. I want to take the aquarium. I think I don't need the brown suit over there. cabin will attach here of course and that is it I'm ready for my next let's drink some more water while I'm waiting for the um, this to recharge I hopefully one more water will be crafted and that's it for this episode sorry it's a bit shorter I'm a little bit tight on schedule today uh, and the episode um, uh, I won't air an episode tomorrow because I'll be out of town so the next one will probably come on Monday if you like this one stay tuned and subscribe hit that like button down below and I'll see you in my next episode